have a signed copy of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I got it from Hunter S. Thompson. You got it from Hunter S. Thompson? How'd you do that? I actually spent a weekend with him in 1988. Oh my God, and you survived. I did survive. <laughs> Hunter S. Thompson passed away quite a few years ago. I think the value of the book now is probably as high as it's going to be. In retrospect, I don't know that had I read the book ahead of time, I would have agreed to go and help him that weekend. Tell me about the weekend with Hunter S. Thompson. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I had a call from a friend one night who worked at a resort in Phoenix saying, Hunter S. Thompson is here. He needs somebody who knows how to type to help him write an article. And in the course of about 48 hours, he got nothing written. He spent most of the weekend paranoid that somebody was out to get him. <laughs> yeah, the guy was crazy, but people loved him. He wrote the book in 1972, and then 1998, it got really popular because Johnny Depp and Benicio Del Toro made the movie. And they rent a Cadillac in the trunk of the car. They've got an obscene amount of drugs. Then he wrote like his whole manifesto on life and you know, barely turned in an article <laughs> he was supposed to write. <laughs> so he signed it? He not only signed his name, he wrote a little note to me. Beverly, thanks for the help in that eating white trash oil slick in the desert called Phoenix, your friend. Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah, um, he really was one of those guys that just didn't care what anybody else thought. Hunter S. Thompson is legendary, and Fear and Loathing is considered his masterpiece. It's just the stories about a bunch of guys just having a crazy time in Vegas. I can kind of relate to it. So, do you have any idea of what you'd want to get out of it? I'm hoping maybe about $800. I, I have no idea. I have no idea what it's worth. Uh, to be honest with you, the book really isn't worth much itself, but the whole actual handwritten mm -hmm. note and it being signed by him, I mean, that's really, really cool. I mean, I have no doubt that someone would want to buy it. Um, I do have a friend, though, that runs a bookstore, and if there was anybody in the world that could tell me what it's worth, it's going to be her. Do you mind if I give her a call? Not at all. I'd actually like to hear what she has to say also. I'm the furthest thing from a book nerd, but I love Fear and Loathing. And if everything checks out, I'm gonna have a real tough time not buying this thing. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. And it looks to be an inscribed copy. It is. Hunter Thompson said that he got into writing because it was the only thing he was good at. He said there was no drug he'd ever experienced that compared to the high of sitting at a desk and writing. So he was completely dedicated to his craft. He created a style of journalism known as gonzo journalism. Mm -hmm. It's not about the story itself, but it's about the process of getting the story that he likes to talk about. Yeah. Hunter S. Thompson is pretty well known in the literary world. His prose is in some cases as good as or better than some of the great 20th century writers. Well, quite frankly, the book, it's a paperback. You could buy that online for $5. There's no collectible value in the paperback itself that is really about the signature and the inscription. One of the great things about Thompson is that he's not the type of guy to sign best wishes. Uh-huh. You've got that long, bizarre inscription. That's the type of thing he does. And one of the things that you see with him a lot is he signs with his initials instead of a full signature. So this is pretty typical for Thompson. His H. It always looks like this W with this big loop. So the inscription is definitely real, which you know, you know. I know. I would say that the retail price for it would be between four and five hundred dollars. That is a lot more than I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I appreciate you coming in, Rebecca. Thank My you. My pleasure. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Originally, I was hoping for maybe. 800, but I really didn't have any good idea what the book was worth. Strictly because I'm a big Hunter S. Thompson fan, I'll, I'll offer you 250. 250? How about 375? I gotta make more than 25 bucks off the deal. I'll go 300. It's kind of low. He did sign it personally. How about? 350. All right, you got a deal. I'm not surprised that he was willing to negotiate up to 350 because I could tell that he really did like Hunter S. Thompson. I have $350 and I'm really happy I was able to sell the book. <laughs>